sound of great coffee is hard to miss. Roasted beans, ground fresh, then pressed into a portafilter, which is locked into a heavy-duty machine that sends out waves of espresso, some of which will be combined with steamed milk for lattes or cappuccinos. There's also pour-overs, with beans and water being weighed to the exact gram to ensure quality and consistency. This isn't some Logan Square hipster hunt, but rather Hansa, a Libertyville roaster with locations in Vernon Hills and Lake Bluff as well. I like it around here. I like the culture. I like, I like everything about the suburbs, but there was one problem and there was no good coffee. We spend a lot of time training our staff in espresso preparation, milk steaming, things like that. We take a more culinary approach to our drinks. So we have a seasonal menu that we change uh, every three to four months where we have uh, seasonal local products and we incorporate them to our drinks. It all begins with the beans, though, and Hansa imports directly, roasting on site to their exact specifications. It really gives us the ability to not only um, reward good work from people we know and like, but it also gives us that level of control that we really couldn't get working with larger farms. With names like Peaberry Royale and Cafe Rose, the beans are all for sale here, as is enough paraphernalia to tap into your inner barista. With all the work that goes into roasting, grinding, and making your coffee, they hope customers give an unadulterated cup a chance first before doctoring it up. We want to basically showcase that coffee and the farmer's hard work uh, in its natural state. But, you know, occasionally people do put cream and sugar in. We can't really control that, but we really would like to, you to enjoy the coffee the way it's intended. Now you'll find the espresso drinks and the Chemex and pour overs and the cold brew at all the locations, Vernon Hills, Lake Bluff, and here in Libertyville. But if you do get drip coffee, try it without cream and sugar. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.